Mark chapter 4, verse 38. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Jesus was asleep in the boat whilst the storm was raging. The boat was taken on water. It was filling. The disciples were panicking. They did not expect that Jesus would be able to deliver them from the storm, or better yet, to stop the storm. If you recall, when he stopped the storm, they were amazed and wondered, what kind of man is this among us? Yet, we see them going to wake him and to ask him, don't you care that we are perishing? Well, why did they wake him? And why did they ask that question? You see, they saw danger. They were distressed. They were perturbed. They were panicked. And as far as they were concerned, everyone in that situation should feel like that. So how is it, Jesus, you are sleeping in the midst of this? How is it you're so calm in the midst of all of this turmoil? Shouldn't you be agitated as we are? Don't you have a care in the world? Doesn't it matter to you that we are perishing? Well, no, he was not perturbed because he knew they couldn't perish. He knew who he was and he knew it was impossible for the ship to sink with him on board. It was impossible for them to die in the midst of life. But the same will happen to you. When because of your right relationship with God, because of your connection with God, you are living in that peace that surpasses understanding. There will be those who will be concerned about your seeming unconcern. There will be those who will seek to encourage you to worry or to get distressed or anxious or panicked or agitated because that is what seems to be the appropriate and natural response to the events in your life. There'll be those who will try to pull you out and make you seem irresponsible and uncaring because you do not go to their levels of agitation, worry, and anxiety. But do not let them pull you from your place of peace. Know who you are. Know whose you are. And know that God is in control. Remain in your right relationship and positioning with God. Let Shalom succor you and protect you. Rest in your peace. Accomplish God's will in the peace of God. For that is the blessing 
of a child of God. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.